I'm J-Man. And I'm Johnny Love, and we are in the studio. In the studio, here <laughs> reviewing Avatar. The Blu-ray release from yes. Fox came out last week. We received our copy. Bam! Um, watching it on Blu-ray, special effects blended beautifully. The sound was awesome. No 3D on this one. I wish it would have been, though, or, or at least with all the commercials I've been seeing and the new TV coming out with all the new technology, they're, they're probably putting something together. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know, they got that free Monsters vs. Aliens or whatever coming out with that TV <laughs> that's 3D. But that's yeah. the evolution, man. Everything sci-fi, action, you know, I mean, fantasy, it's all going to be 3D. And Clash I, of Titans is a perfect example. I think we're going to be sitting at home watching these and they'll be just yeah. as effective as IMAX. Yeah. But not to... Not, the tour from uh, movie sales. I mean, they're still fun to go to the IMAX. Well, just like Clash of the Titans was 3D. You know, I mean. Well, that, they did that, that though just to try to spruce it up because yeah, exactly. it was kind of failing. It really well, was. the special effects did. Yeah, it was well, a little bit of a letdown. Sam, Sam Worthington was better in Avatar, I thought, way better than he yes. was in Clash of the Titans. Even his acting and everything was, yeah. was better. Yeah, this is this movie has grossed more money than any other movie of all time. James Cameron really has a winning formula here. Yeah, he does. Um, I mean, there's similarities to what happened the, in the Titanic. Uh, yeah. Rose goes from high class to white trash, iceberg, boom, you know, uh, Jake Sully goes from marine to, for, to fern gully, boom, everything, you know, I love boom. the fern gully, um, oh, it's a winning great. formula, it's been proven twice, you know, this guy's done it twice now, so, you know, hey, bring on a sequel, I'll be happy to see the sequel, oh, yeah, they, be, they'll be a lot more original, they ought to be able to run more than a sequel, oh, I mean, they, it'll be, it'll be a they could just sure. keep going on and on about how, you know, the way these people are evolving, what mm -hmm. they do with their land, sure. blah, blah, blah. Pandora's a big world. Yes. Uh, the Queen of Sci-Fi special nod goes to Sigourney Weaver. We didn't get a chance to talk about it in our uh, theatrical we review. We didn't, but Sigourney gets a thumbs up. She's uh, always welcome in any sci-fi movie. She's the queen That's of sci-fi. Right, yeah. Although, you know, you, you always think of her as Ripley. Yes, you do. Yeah. I was waiting for something to drool on her. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, there you go. But uh, she's not as foxy as she used to be. Well, she's getting Now, when she got all avatar cougar. up and... Cougar. Well, she was a cougar, cougar. and she was in Pandora. Because they, they gave her a tail and some ears, but uh, she was cute. But when they showed her, just you know, she's getting older. She's got that boxy face. She kind of looks like a like a living cyborg, you know. <laughs> but Sigourney Weaver, she's still the queen, man. We, it's like a cameo. <laughs> Anytime she's in anything sci-fi, it's like yes, the yeah. queen has entered. Yeah, her and James Cameron worked together for yes. a lot of years. So we we uh, hats off to Sigourney Weaver. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, the, we didn't have the J Man movie meter. Back in December when we Avatar didn't came out, yeah, I gave it a 17 simply because of originality. I mean, it seems like we get this type of story every 15 or 20 years or so out of Hollywood. Right. Uh, Dance of the Wolves, Titanic, now right. Avatar. Right. Um, Pocahontas, I don't know. Uh, so you gave it a 17. Huh? I gave it a 17. I thought everything else was awesome. Uh, the special effects are great. Well, um, I gave it a shizzle, shizzle on the Johnny Love movie meter. There you go. I go every five points. He goes up to 20. <laughs> And I got a word for every five. <laughs> There's levels. There you go. And this is at the top of the level. It gets a shizzle. There you go. There you go. Avatar was great. Although I would have liked maybe some special features and stuff on the DVD for 40 bucks. Right. But well, they did throw the... They're going to wait. They you threw know, the DVD in here with the Blu-ray. Yeah. So, it, you know... I say 3D TVs in probably a year or so to the general public as oh, far yeah. as a price point. Everybody can afford to, to have. Exactly. Um, and then they'll, they'll re-release it. Or it'll probably come with a TV. You know how it is. So. Right. But many thanks to Fox for sending us this copy of Avatar on Blue. We really appreciate it. And uh, I'm J-Man. And I'm Johnny Love. And we'll see you next time. Shizzle.